Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Carrizozo, New Mexico. This is Rusty78609, and we are on the road again. Where are we going? Uh, well, today we are going to go to Oliver Lee State Park in uh, Alamogordo for a few days. Why? Because I just want to. And then we're going to go somewhere else after that, and somewhere else after that, and somewhere else after that, and on and on and on we go. But anyway, I just uh, tightened the straps on the wheels on the tow dolly. Got that checked out. Everything was okay. I didn't need any gas because I filled up here before. I parked my RV in Capitan for a few days here. And uh, so, yeah, gasoline here is $3.89 a gallon for regular unleaded, which is the cheapest place within 50 miles or more. For sure, three eighty nine a gallon. That's amazing. So again, we're in Carrizozo, New Mexico, traveling to Alamogordo, and I was, you know, my radio on my Class C motorhome hasn't worked in a couple of months, and I thought, well, hell, I'm going through Alamogordo. Why don't I go by the Chevrolet dealer there? It's covered under warranty and get it repaired. Well, that's a great idea. I got plenty of time to do it while I'm there in Alamogordo or out at Oliver Lee State Park. And guess what? <clears throat> Their first available appointment just to check it, just to check it, is the third week in August, okay? So, you know, you buy a new car they tell you it's got a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty or whatever they tell you it has, and then what? Well, then you find out that uh, you can't get it in to get it fixed anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, th that's the truth about warranty. It, the warranty's great. Uh, you just can't get an appointment. And then they may not have any parts. And on and on you go. So is that a good deal? Not for me, it ain't. But anyway, enough said about that. That's just life. Is it really a big problem? No. Do I listen to the radio? No. Uh, but I wanted to use the backup camera. Okay. But you know, I, again, I have a, a rear view camera now. You can you can hook it up as a backup camera. I'm not going to do it. But do I need a backup camera really w with the rear view camera? No. No, we're good, and it's a good little camera. So enough said about that. But on the road again, how does it feel to be on the road again? I have to tell you guys, you know, a lot of things could have happened and might have happened, but they didn't happen, and I am actually damn glad. You know, sometimes things do work out for the best, and this time I have to think that they did because I'm a free spirit, man. Do I like this shit? Hell yes, I do, man. You know, I talked about buying a place with a view. Shit. What kind of view do I want? All I got to do is crank this thing up and go look at it. <laughs> Yo. And it's not that expensive. I know a lot of you think that RVing today is very expensive because of gas prices and RV park prices have gone up. And, and all of that's absolutely correct. But uh, if you don't, there's a big bump here. Oh, man. I love those. The, the ones I really like are the bumps that... You know, like side to side, those are the ones that really mess up your stuff. But fortunately, that was just a straight on, which is not bad. It's 54 miles to Alamogordo, which would put me at the state park at about, oh, I don't know, 10.30ish, that range. You know what check-in time, what time check-in time is at the New Mexico State Parks? Huh? 4 p.m. Check-in time, 4 p.m. Will they let you check in early? Sure, if that site has not been used the night before and the people have left because they've got till 2 p.m. to leave. So, anyway, those are just things you run into out here on the road, guys. Deal with it. But this, to me, is a pretty drive. To a lot of you, it will be a lot of nothing. And... Uh, so, but I did want to let you know I'm on the road again. Yeah, we'll do this video for lunch, and then I'll still do Beer 30 and uh, from Oliver Lee State Park, guys. So, on the road, I'm glad to be here. I got me a good soda. I got me a diet, Dr. Pepper, 
big red mix. Mm -hmm. And they got good ice. You know that crunchy kind? Good stuff. So, with that in mind, what else can I tell you? I ain't got no complaints, guys, right now. Everything seems to be going fine. Old Sparky's still back there. I checked the hub to see if they were warm, and they're okay. And so, one day at a time, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How do you live a good life? One day at a time. And I'm trying that best I can. So, ladies and gentlemen, from on the way to Alamogordo on Highway 54, I think this one is. It goes north and south. <clears throat> but again, enjoy your life, guys. Thumbs up. Carpe diem from somewhere between right now Alamogordo and, uh, oh, excuse me, wrong, Carrizozo and Tularosa is the next city of any size. It's about 40 miles, I guess. But it's a nice drive, not much traffic on this road. And uh, to me, I call it scenic. To others, they call it desolate. But having said that, enjoy your life, guys. Adios. Keep your health. Bye-bye.